Showcase Moona is an exciting creative placemaking initiative happening in Moona, up in Hobart's northern suburbs. By providing grants for 15 community members to deliver their creative and impassioned ideas, We've engaged the community through murals, performance, markets, colour and life in the Moona streets. Showcase Moona has been an initiative by the Glenorchy City Council to bring life, colour and people back into the streets of Moona. This project has been facilitated by myself, uh, Michael Haynes from Future Common, as well as Dean Cracknell from Town Team Movement. Showcase Moona kicked off at Christmas time 2020 with the idea to deliver all of the projects by the 30th of June. That's an extremely ambitious goal considering the complexity of working with the community and working in public space. Really trying to invite people to love Moona for what it is and where it's going and what it can be. I'm Melsky McVie and I'm a community artist. My work is very stylized. Uh, it's like a lino print or stained glass. There's lots of big bold colors with gray outlines. I've been creating this kind of work for about seven years and I just really enjoy the opportunity to create a large scale artwork on buildings. I love bright colours, I love creating artwork to kind of re-inspire neglected places. My inspirations come from native flora and fauna. I love doing work with the community because you actually get to meet the locals, you get to forge new relationships, you get to meet people you wouldn't normally meet or hang out with old friends. I've been doing this work for about five years and I've always loved it. I love creating work that allows you to connect and kind of work with different types of people from all walks of life. So doing the Make Your Mark mural has been great because I've actually got to meet a whole heap of different kinds of people that live in the area of Moona. My name is Chita, you can call me Crystal, and I study in the Utah's accounting right now. I want to become an uh, art content, but the artist is my hobby. I really love this innovation because there's a lot of artworks in this place. Thanks for the Tom to give this place to our two painting. Hi everyone, uh, my name is Billy. I study textile design and uh, I learned how to draw and painting when I was in China. So it's more than 20 years uh, drawing experience. I think this project uh, provides a very good opportunity to me. And our line is just for the all line and the choice line. So we have the two walls and we design to the two pinches. So my artwork is about drawing the galaxy. The process of my drawing is very tricky, but sometimes it's very relaxing. So Crystal also helped me a lot about the support and what kind of materials we can use. So I feel very happy when I do artwork, and it's very good experience and memory to me. My spring is just from the 1997, the Gun Tree Festival, and they will tell the people they are dancing. So I use that atom to the painting. They have the four people they are dancing, but cracked is just for the love, so it's L-O-V-E. I just use the choice that the tubics commit to the Muna, is they can have the connect with choice and the Muna. They can take the picture, interaction with the people. They can post like LOV, just like this one, or this one is LOV. So they are very effective. 
My purpose is just for the active, the younger people. They are living in the Muna. They are very useful. Hello, uh, my name is Jovi. I used to learn art and design in my bachelor degree. I just uh, graduated from Utah's master degree was information technology. I often do some art projects for business, for private, or even for community. For this the memory line, it used to be a faded color in yellow or dark black. I painted it in a rainbow color. Now it looks clean and tidy. I hope when people uh, walk through this uh, memory line, they can have a better mood and uh, they can have a community attract uh, more people to involve in. And uh, I hope it can be a good start for people's day. Hi, my name is Leah. And I'm Bo. And we're from Combi Crew. Calling out around the city. Are you ready for a brand new beat? Our first project for Showcase Moon Art was our Dancing in the Street. So basically we uh, highlighted a few areas around Muna, we got a group of people together and uh, we literally did that, we were dancing in the street. So we brought uh, to life some of the, the history and nostalgia of, of Muna, uh, what the night scene used to look like and, uh, and we had a boogie. Yeah, so basically a walking tour with music, what more could you want? <laughs> So we have a small business, uh, we do silent discos and we also do pretty cool combi rides um, and all different events across Tasmania. So tonight we are here to do a silent disco, which basically we've, we've put on a bit of a laneway event for the community to highlight and showcase some crannies of Muna that we can bring to light. What we're really hoping to achieve from this event is to bring the community together, all different ages, all different abilities, um, to just yeah, enjoy a weeknight and get them out in the winter. And music and lights. Music and lights. <laughs> um, so yeah, we, I think it'll be a great night and we're really looking forward to our second showcase uh, for the project. So yeah, thanks. My name's William Newbury, I'm a local musician who lives in Moona, I play the viola. Uh, I'm here today with my friends and colleagues Edwina George, who's playing violin. Alexander Beckish, who's playing cello. And Stuart Thompson, who's playing double bass. presenting a little event for Showcase Moona here at the Moona Post Office. We've been introducing and playing some of Bach's fugues from his amazing piece of music, The Art of Fugue. He wrote near the end of his life, died before completing it. It's a mystery as to why he wrote it, whether it was to be performed or whether it was just to educate other composers. 
but it's incredible music and it's a real pleasure for us to come out and share it with the community in Moona and in particular to bring bark beyond the flannelette curtain in our new flannelette tales. So uh, we certainly hope that anyone who stopped in to have a listen has really enjoyed it. My name is Ange Penniston. I'm here today to represent Possibility Disability Services. We're here today as part of the Showcasing Moona event that's been sponsored by the Glenorchy City Council. So our event today is called Collaborate, Innovate and Celebrate. And we have ABLE Disability Services um, here today with us joining in to celebrate. We're just about celebrating people with disabilities in the community and we're just about today here having fun. We're here to dance, uh, play some music, we've got some of our art and some of our photography on show as well. You know, we, we have a great time, we're out here to have fun and just, yeah, just enjoy the day. My name is Jerry DeGrice, I'm a landscape architect with Inspiring Place. I've been living and working in Australia for quite some time. And the Moona Showcase has been developed by the city of Glenorchy to show off all the great things that happen in Moona. Hey, um, I'm Andrew Holmes from the uh, Tasmanian Young Planners. I'm the convener um, this year for 2021 and we've been working pretty hard to deliver a project for Moona Showcase today which is the uh, Gorilla Greening. We're working with the young planners, try to introduce greenery into the city because it is certainly lacking. And we wanted to show businesses and the community could be activated with plants and people just make Muna even more funky than it already is because it's a pretty funky place as it is now. So the aim of the project is to bring a bit of green space into the city. As you can see, um, I'm sure you'll see the before and after shots, but um, before shots is a pretty barren sort of um, laneway here, but um, bringing a bit of uh, seats and plants and the like um, will definitely liven up the spaces and a much better place to be. So thanks for the opportunity to the City of Glenorchy, thanks to the Moon Showcase people, and thanks to our sponsors, at, uh, Stoneman's Nursery, and to all the businesses that said, yeah, sure, let's do it. Thanks very much. Nice to see everybody today. Hello, my name is Lucy Baker and I am the organiser for To The North Moona. So we're in Albert Road. Um, we began this morning at 8am. The stores look absolutely incredible. Everyone's set up in the morning and ready to go. And then we just needed the people and they came and showed us all the love. So when I first started this, it's a community pop-up market, uh, so not for profit. I just wanted to give back to the community and have somewhere where everyone could enjoy. Uh, Glenorchy City Council put out a proposal called Showcase. They're asking the community to activate the Moona Hub. It was our quiet zone and around 9 o'clock it's when people started to come and it just has kept on coming and coming and coming. We came up with the market 
and then this is what we have today. It's far exceeded our expectations. We've got 55 stalls. Our maximum capacity for people is 650 and it has sat at that all day. So it just shows us that the community really wants something like this in the area. We feel really humbled for everyone to give us a chance and to be a part of this and we're just having an absolute great day. Showcase Moon has been a resounding success. Through the hard work of our community members who received grants, the Glenorchy City Council and the broader community, we've really shown that there's a want and a need for more creative placemaking in Moona. By continuing to support this work, we can continue to create more opportunities for people, to give people a new story to tell about the place that they live, and to improve the prospect for Moona, its economy and its people going forward.